Hello and welcome to the next episode in the conventional start let's play series. In this episode we are going to be going over a few things. First we're going to be uh, handling industrialization, colonizing Mars, getting Luna up to a good population and also designing our first military ship hopefully. Um, another thing that I saw from the comments was that people uh, reminded me that I forgot to assign governors to Luna and Earth and set story characters. I'll be doing that now. Um, and, and another subject, uh, only about 20% of the people who watch these videos actually just subscribe. So if you could subscribe, that would be really, really appreciated um, and would really mean a lot. Anyway, let's get right into it. So where we last left off. Uh, we were currently dealing uh, with Luna and getting that up to colonization um, and our colony ships were colonizing it appropriately. Now once that reaches 10 million we're going to need to um, get our military uh, shipyard sorted out and our military stuff sorted out so um, I'm going to redirect technology into our ultraviolet, near ultraviolet laser um, so I'm going to reduce on pulse. Um, and I'm also going to get ourselves uh, just that very, very quickly. We're not going to be designing a real ship just, just yet, but we're going to need it um, just to get some stuff sorted out for that. Um, next, we're going to go over here and assign our planetary governors appropriately. Uh, so over here, I want production to be my main focus for this one. Okay, there we go, and oh no, I don't want civilian administrator production. Okay, and I'm going to assign this boy to here, and I'm going to assign a uh, wealth creation boy to Luna. There we go. Okay, uh, research is going ahead fine. Industry, I am going to add a few things. Um, I'm going to add 100 or main mines because I want to get mining colonies. Um, and I'm also going to add um, a few a few deep space tracking stations, a few uh, a few uh, research facilities, and also we're going to get some more construction factories on the way. We're also going to get to designing our ground forces soon, so once those construction uh, things are done, we'll, we'll get to doing that. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to continue building our ships up, so let's go to our cargo, uh, cargo fleet, and uh, there we go. And to colony fleet, there we go. Hey, we just got our first mining colony, that's very nice. Uh, production of all made mines, begin on that. I'm also going to get uh, maintenance facilities, we need more maintenance facilities. So we're going to get 15 more of those for 25, there we go. I'm also going to increase our research for ultraviolet laser. And we just finish. I'm going to tell the boys that Luna is stable now. Um, and I'm going to make a colony on Mars. Uh, so make colony, create colony. Uh, and I'm going to wait until we've got that infrastructure done. Okay, we just finished ultraviolet laser. Um, and Ma Ma Luna is now having some issues. So we now have this. Okay, we're just going to create the, uh, we're going to call this the 10 centimeter C1 nail trite laser. We're going to call it the 10 centimeter show off laser. Show off. Because that's all it's going to be doing. It's not going to be doing any actual fighting, so. Uh, energy weapons. Over here, we're going to create uh, show off, and then we're going to continue advancing time. And we complete that, and I'm also going to start designing some new engines, or well, new-ish engines. I want to design something else first. Let's get that first, and a bit more, I think 1.25 will be fine. Um, and I'm also now going to start moving logistics uh, to uh, 
to Mars. So let's get infrastructure. Unload infrastructure. Uh, if that's 10, then we can have, what is that? 120. Well, no, 60. Uh, that's fine. We'll just keep unloading and, and, until we cycle moves properly. Um, cycle moves. There we go. Um, and we're going to hopefully get our research sorted here. And now our cargo was unable to load properly, so we're going to remove all. I'm just going to go to Earth and we're going to tell them to move, uh, load, mine, unload on Mars, and then refuel. And we're just going to repeat, so that'll be 10, 15, 20. Um, and then, well, maybe 5, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, that'll be good. Um, and then I need to get colonists moving. We're going to drop some colonists on Mars. Uh, so, unload colonists. I'm going to re repeat that. 600, 1.2, 2.4, 4.8. There we go. I just completed that, so we're going to start designing our next engine. So, let's go over here. I'm going to design... Uh, the next engine which will be this and we're going to give it power mods of 1.25x so it's now 150p create and we're going to uh, get that, uh, that engine underway i just added enough capacity for that He's got two more Halkin classes. I'm just going to keep skipping for a time, okay? And we're going to design our military vessel. Well, our protection vessel, anyway. Uh, we're going to rename this to the Valiance. Um, and then we are going to uh, call this a Light Corvette. Light Corvette. See, and then we are going to swap out the engines for engines that go twice as fast. So that's very, very nice. And then I'm going to uh, get rid of the geological survey sensors, going to reduce deployment time, and I'm then going to add lasers onto this. So three lasers that'll provide APPV. Um, it should be decent enough. We don't need that much fuel, so I'm going to reduce fuel intake. Um, it'll only be for protection. We don't need, like, whatever. Um, and I'm going to increase fuel by a little bit more. There we go. 5,000 kilometers a second. That's pretty nice. Um, and then I'm going to retool this to the shipyard. Uh, Valiance, and we're going to get that built. And that will be done in 2048, uh, 27th of May. Okay, cool. Five inactive research laboratories. Uh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Improve nuclear pulse engines. I'm going to put some more labs in this. I'm also going to continue putting more labs uh, in this. And I want to get our sorium harvesting uh, as close as possible as well for that. Mars now has 200 mines. Okay, that's... Cargo group. I, I did not say 200 mines. Jesus Christ. That is, that is a bit much. It's a bit much, cargo group. You can load five mines at a time, not a million. Load installation. Load mine. Unload on Earth. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, repeat. 10. 20. 40. 80. Okay, yeah, move 80 of them. I'm sorry if you can hear dogs in the background. They're just really, really annoying and they like to cry a lot, so that's nice. Um, I'm just going to continue researching. Colony group just finished. 
This is not that many people on Mars, so we're good. And you just got to choose Transport Bay. Um, I'm now going to start designing our ground forces really, really quick. So let's get that underway. So I'm going to create, uh, we're going to call them TF and then we're going to call them Trooper. So TF. Um, and they'll just have personnel weapons create and then we're going to create a uh, company headquarters company headquarters and avoid combat and we're going to give that 1500 capacity create and then I'm going to go over here going to add uh, HMG section HMG section and then we're going to uh, go for light anti-vehicle light anti-vehicle so we're going to go to anti-tank section and there we go that's how you design ground forces essentially uh, this is how we're designing our ground forces I did a video on this but this should explain a little bit more so mortar section there we go and I want a supply section they'll be using logistics so I'm going to call this supply section cool okay and then we're going to tell our boys over at uh, the ground combat research that uh, we want this <sighs> these guys will just be for garrisoning they're not going to really do much actual fighting versus aliens but who knows maybe they will um, and uh, now that that is underway, I'm also going to go to our freighter. I'm going to copy the design and rename it uh, to the um, Severance. And we're going to call it, we're going to make it a troop transport. Troop transport. I'm going to get rid of the cargo hold and I'm going to put in place uh, troop capacity. So. Boom, and then troop capacity. Okay, there we go. And now we've got our troop transport, and hopefully it should. It's a little bit too expensive. Yeah, though. I'm gonna have to design a new shipyard for it. Um, I'm going to actually take this, and I'm gonna retool it for the sevens because we don't really need colony ships anymore now that we have civilian colony ships um but i will put in an order for a couple more commercial shipyards so we'll put in an order for that uh and let's continue now we're waiting on mortar section increased uh, missile and kinetics needs to get sorted out so we're going to put one in missile launcher reload rate and then I'm going to put the rest into improving the pulse engines because yes we're going to need those and we just got that and then we're going to put the rest into uh, getting ourselves better ion engines the fire control range just increased uh, and I'm going to want to get some active sensors as well as uh, EM and uh, thermal. And then we just finished. And then we were unable to load mine. What did? Why did these orders always get so weird? Oh, I know why. It's because they're cycling them. That's why. That's bloody why. That is why there's so many bloody issues with this. Um, unload installation. You feel from colony. Repeat. Don't cycle. So that'll be 10, 20, 40, 80. Okay. And then we're going to load installation. We're going to go there. We're going to load mass driver. We're going to unload our Mars as well. Unload mass driver. We feel from colony. Good. Okay, and 
now we should have enough PBV for Luna. Yeah, there we go. We have enough PBV. She sticks with Alpha has completed. Um, and so now, mine. You have enough mines. And you, Mars has eighty mines. There we go. And they'll start mining. I need to assign a governor to Mars. Uh, so let's go over here and let's get ourselves a production governor. So production. Um, now we're gonna go over to well, not production. We need a mining governor. My bad. And then we're gonna go to we assign, and then we also need to assign another one to Earth again. No, I don't think we do. I think we'll be fine. Uh, we're just gonna keep going through here. Excuse me. Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought it said one of my ships had uh, not worked for a second. Okay, we've got enough miners mining, um, and then I also want to get that sent over to um, good old fashioned England. Oh, I know why. I I sometimes I sometimes question like my competency at times because <laughs> I just loaded like all of those mines like not where I wanted. So yeah, there we go. Uh, and we're just going to continue. And also we're going to get all of the ground forces design. We're going to make a new thing called Garrison Company. TF. And we're going to add two company headquarters. We're going to add full supply. We're going to add uh, 90 troopers, 9 anti tank. Oh, where's that one there? 9 and then 9. There we go. I'll add 100 troopers, see if that'll smooth it out a little bit. 24. We can add another. HMG section and that should smooth it out very nice. So OCD is saved. Yes, there we go. So we got exactly 1500. We're going to go to here and I'm going to construct three garrison companies. And uh, what else are we looking at doing? Everything looks fine there. We've got mines coming over from here. I want to start moving. How, how much do I have on here? Financial centers. I want to start moving my financial centers properly, so I'm going to move. Uh, I'm going to move, let's say, we'll move 100 of them. Um, so, civilian economy, we're going to go. Uh, you will supply financial centers. You will supply 100. This demands 100. Although I want for that. 100, and then we have supply. There we go. Now he's got two more Eden classes. And we just got three garrison companies, and then we're going to train another three garrison companies. Very, very nice. Due to overcrowding. Is Luna. No Why does Luna have overcrowding problems? I did say that this was stable. Uh, it should fix itself eventually. Okay, we just got three more companies. And retooling for the seventh class finished. And we're gonna get two more seventh classes. There we go. And we're just gonna continue waiting our time out here. Construction of financial consensus completed on Earth. So now Mars should be at a lot of workers now, which is very, very nice. So Mars, so uh, well, Luna, I mean, is even making a lot here. All right. Um, that's going to be the end of the episode. I hope you did enjoy, um, and you'll come back next time. Uh, remember, about 20% of the people who watch these videos actually subscribe, so it's pretty important if you could do that uh, for the YouTube algorithm and stuff. Um, and I support everyone who has commented and stuff in the past. Um, and yeah, um, we've pretty much done what we've set out to do at the beginning of this episode. Hopefully, next episode we should be able to begin jump capable uh, designs, and then we're going to go forward on the fifth episode with uh, jumping to another system. 
I'll see you next time. I wish you the best. Stay safe. Uh, bye bye.